Hi, I'd like to talk about the UI table view cell accessory view. And uh, for this example, um, I'm going to start with a brand new project here. And I'll use the single view application. And we'll call it uh, table view accessory view. And I think I have one in there called with that name, so I'll, I'll name it number two. And uh, and I'll save it into my folder here for table view stuff. And there we go. And just as a quick review for everyone and a little bit of practice, we'll just build our table view from scratch. So I've got the uh, main storyboard here. Go into storyboard. And hopefully it'll load up at any moment now. There we go. So uh, here's storyboard. Maybe I'll make the, the view here a little bit smaller. And I'm going to find the table view from the list of objects here, the UI elements, and I'll drag it into the view. And I'm going to snap it to the center point there so you can see the blue line. So it's, it's centered in the view. And then with the table view selected, I'll go to the, um, to the little button down here with the triangle. It says Resolve Auto Layout Issues. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add missing constraints. And that should pin the four edges to the, uh, the sides of the view. Okay, so let's put a table view cell in there. And then with this table view cell selected, and you'll see table view cell up at the top here in the property inspector, we'll set the identifier to cell. Okay, C-E-L-L. -L. And that way we have an identifier for the cell. And maybe we'll make this cell a, um, you know, just a basic table view cell. So I'll, I'll pick the style basic. Okay, so now we need to set the um, data source and the delegate. So I'll, I'll hold the control key, click on the table view cell, and I'll drag from data source to the UI view controller thing there, the little yellow icon, and I'll do the same for the delegate. Okay, so now our table view is wired up to the view controller. So next, let's look at the view controller code. So I'm going to view controller Swift. And what we need to do is we need to declare ourselves as UI table view data source and UI table view delegate. Okay. So you can see I've got my two delegate methods here or delegate protocol protocols, I guess they're called, right? So we put them up there. And now in order to satisfy the two protocols, I need to, um, and really this is just for the data source, I need to include the number of rows and section method. So I'll start typing table view, and then I'll find number of rows and section on the list. And for now, why don't we, um, why don't we just return, you know, 10 rows, okay? And then the next step is, you know, table view. Oops, I did rows and section. Let's do table view um, cell for row at index path, which is on the list up here. So I'll find it under C, cell for row at index path. So this method needs to create a table view cell and return it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say cell for row, or let cell equal table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier and then our cell if you recall we gave it the identifier of cell and so I'll say let's return this item as a UI table view cell okay so there we go cell equals table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier the identifier name is cell and we're going to return this as a UI table view cell and so we, that means we're going to return it, right? So let's type return cell. Okay, so remember, we're, we're going to really work on the accessory view here. So I'm just kind of racing through this stuff. You can look at the other tutorials to get a, more detail on the 
UI table view and the table view cell setup and stuff. Um, so now let's get to the accessory view. So right now, you know, we'll have 10 cells. Why don't we set the text label of each cell? So we'll say, you know, cell.textlabel.text equals, and maybe here, um, we'll just put a string in there with the index path in it. So it'll just say cell and the number, okay? Right, so let's give that a quick test, you know, sanity check or whatever, you know, just to make sure things are working. Uh, no errors so far, so that's good, crossing the fingers here. And any moment now, it's going to load up. Oh, there we go. So there's 10 cells, right? Okay, and our table view is working. So what I want to do now is I want to put the accessory view over here in the corner, okay? And there's a couple ways to set the accessory view, okay? So right now, I, what I want to do is I want to use a custom accessory, okay? So I want to use these two. I'm, for the example, I'm going to use these two images. It's a, just a picture of a heart, and one of them has a fill, and the other one is just the outline, okay? So um, let's grab those two pictures, heart, fill, and heart, and I'll drag them into my project. And then I'm going to check copy items if needed. If that's already checked, leave it checked, okay? Because we want I want to leave those original files in that folder and then create copies in the project folder with this Xcode project, okay? That's probably your safest option every time you import something. Okay, unless you have something special in mind. Now, there's a couple ways to set the accessory view. You can set it under main storyboard. So, you know, if I click on the cell here, and then I go to the, um, to the UI table view cell, I select it, you know, you can give each cell an image, and the image appears on the left side, you know, over here, right? I'm going to delete that. Or you can assign an accessory which appears on the right side. And you can set the accessory here um, to one of the default accessories. For example, the disclosure indicator, the uh, detail disclosure, the check mark, or, you know, details. Okay? But I don't want to use the default one. I want to use a custom accessory. I want to use the heart shape, but I want to put it over here, okay, on the right side. So to do that, I'm going to go into my code here, and every time I create a table view cell, right, and I'm setting the text label here, and I'm creating the cell up here, and what I'll do is, after I add the text, I'll create an accessory and add it to the cell. So I'm going to type in let um, image equal UI image and then I'll do a named image. Let me find named. Yeah, there we go. Named, right? Okay. And this means you can just choose an image from your library here and, you know, talk about that image by name. So maybe I'll pick the not filled heart and I'll just type heart.png. Okay. So now that I've got an image here, um, you know, it doesn't do anything, but essentially I've created an image object that we could work with in our code. And now I want to put that into the table view cell, but I actually can't put the image in there. It has to be an image view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, because the image itself isn't a view, it's just like, you know, pixel data, I think. So let's say let, um, how about, uh, let's call it image view equals UI image um, view, right? And we'll say image view with image. Okay, so in this element here has to be a UI image, so let's type that, you know, the name image in there, and now we've created an image, and now we've created an image view with that image inside the view. Okay, so the image view is sort of a container that can display all sorts of things, right, and it can display images. It can size them and position them and stuff. So now, We've got an image view, but we still can't see it because it's not a part of our view hier hierarchy, and, it, and we want to actually put it in a table view cell, and the cells are in the view hierarchy, so if we add it to the cell, we'll see it. 
So to add it to the cell, we're going to say cell dot accessory um, view. Um, do you do view here? No, I think you just do accessory view, and then you say um, image view, something like that. So there we go. Cell accessory view equals image view, right? And we're, we've made an image, made an image view, assign the image view to the accessory view. And then that should be that. Let's test it. Oh, there we go. And there's our heart. Okay. And that could be any shape, you know, um, you know, you could put anything in here. You can actually put buttons or switches or, you know, other UI elements can go into this accessory view. So the accessory view can be pretty much any UI view object. Okay. And there you go.